Do you find yourself struggling to truly accept who you are? You will end up sabotaging your self-acceptance if you do not practice the five essentials of unconditional self-acceptance. Keep watching to learn what they are. Self-acceptance is about coming to terms with the reality of your humanity and accepting yourself as imperfect yet whole. It is about having a secure and forgiving view of yourself and being okay with yourself, no matter what has happened or where you are today. It is important to understand that self-acceptance does not happen in a moment. It is a process. You must work through your feelings and experiences to come to appreciate who you are. So, let's take a look at the five essentials of unconditional self-acceptance. The first essential of self-acceptance is acknowledging your imperfections. Even though it is difficult to accept our imperfections, they are part of the human experience. You must eliminate perfectionism if you want to find self-acceptance. Remember that perfectionism is driven by fear. Pay attention. If you are setting yourself unrealistic expectations, and fighting against imperfections and flaws. When you are having a tough time and feeling a difficult emotion, stop and acknowledge it. Sometimes acknowledgement of our imperfections is all that is needed to move from resistance to acceptance. Learning to find acceptance and own our flaws and imperfections empowers and allows us to move forward. For example, instead of beating yourself up or being impatient, acknowledge that you like to take action. Also, to move toward healthier alternatives, reframe your weaknesses rather than ruminating about them. For example, you can reframe your weaknesses of being impatient to healthier affirmation like, I'm learning to slow down especially when you recognize that there are times and situations when you would need to slow down. The second essential of self-acceptance is accepting your mistakes. Mistakes are an important part of our experience as humans because we all make them. It's about how we think about a mistake that will determine how you feel and if the mistake will hold you back or move you forward. It is important here to identify the negative self-talk that results from mistakes and regrets and to reframe into kind and gentle language. Tell yourself that mistakes are not just failures but lessons that give us an opportunity to gain experience and grow. When you focus on your mistakes as an opportunity for growth and learning, rather than reasons to punish and shame yourself, you increase your self-acceptance and improve your overall self-esteem. The third essential of self-acceptance is forgiving yourself and others. Forgiveness is not about excusing you or others' poor behavior and forgetting something that happened, but about processing and letting go of the feelings of guilt, shame, hurt, anger, and resentment. Know that you have to feel to heal and sharing and talking to a professional counselor can help you move through this process. Also, you can write a letter to yourself if you need to forgive yourself or another person if you need to forgive others, telling how you feel and expressing your need to let go of contempt and hurt. You don't need to give your letter to others. Forgiveness is something you do for yourself, not for anyone else. Forgiveness brings you peace and allows you to move forward and accept yourself. The fourth essential of self-acceptance is managing criticism effectively. You must accept that you are imperfect and therefore you are subject to criticism. Also, you must accept that the world is a critical place, full of judgment and unsolicited feedback. When it comes to criticism from others, it's easy to take criticism personally and allow it to further deplete feelings of self-worth if your self-esteem is low and unhealthy. 
we must accept that if criticism is constructive and helpful, then it aims at helping us to learn and improve. And it's okay to thank for the feedback and move on. But if criticism from others is destructive, it causes us to feel discomfort and humiliation. In this case, we must learn to respond to destructive criticism assertively and with confidence to defend our position and self-esteem. There are times when the safest option to walk away from the situation while thinking and reminding yourself that you are not the problem and you can see the bigger picture of someone's insecurity issues and that you are not going to let affect your sense of identity and self-esteem. Most important is how you think internally about criticism and prepare to manage criticism effectively, keeping in mind that there are lots of opinions in the world. Finally, the fifth essential of self-acceptance is recognizing your strengths. While strengths are easier to accept than flaws, if you have low self-esteem, you will have a tough time recognizing your strengths and giving yourself praise and credit. It is important to give yourself praise for the things you do well. For example, if you are hardworking, then praise yourself saying, I'm proud of my stamina and dedication to working hard. If you are resilient, then recognize and affirm it by saying, I'm resilient and able to bounce back in difficult situations and times. Give yourself praise and show appreciation for your own strengths. So, to summarize, the five essentials of unconditional self-acceptance are acknowledging your imperfections, accepting your mistakes, forgiving yourself and others, managing criticism effectively and recognizing your strengths. Self-acceptance does not happen in a moment, rather it's a process. It involves working through your feelings, letting go of the past, and appreciating who you are. I would like to hear in what area you feel like you could develop greater self-acceptance. Please share in the comments area. In the meantime, if this has been helpful, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified about any new video releases. I see you soon and bye for now.